Good morning. Can God still surprise us? Our reading takes us now today over to Jeremiah chapter 33, and we're going to start with the first three verses there. Here's what it says. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Well, that's a challenging line there. That sounds pretty hopeful. So think of the setting here. Jeremiah is still in prison. The city is still under siege. The armies of Babylon are outside the gate, the most powerful armies in the world. Things are really having a grim cast to them here. So the people have been carried away all across the land. Many of them have been are being carried into captivity right now. Others have fled out into the corners and they're trying to hide from the Babylonians there. It's a pretty challenging situation. But then what about back in the city that's surrounded where Jeremiah is? Well, the king hasn't repented. The people haven't repented. The false prophets are still doing fake false prophecies. It's pretty, it's pretty grim setting here. It doesn't look like any kind of success. And yet, and yet God tells Jeremiah, call to me and I will answer you. I'll show you things you, you can't really quite see right now. You can't even imagine them happening right now. It's okay. So God has a way in the midst of thunderclouds of doom and despair and trial. And when you can't see the silver lining, you can't see out the other side at all. God has a way of giving us hope. And he's, he's challenging his servant, Jeremiah, in prison in the, king's, in the king's space there. He's challenging him to have faith and hope. Come to me, he says, Jeremiah. Call to me. Call to me and I'll answer you. He's, he's anxious for us to come to him. He's anxious for us, not anxious in a, a mental way, but he's, he desires us to come to him in our need. He's just waiting to bless you. I mean, why don't we take him up on this? We're so slow and depressed and plodding and, and just slow moving. But he says, he says, call to me. I will answer you. God will, will answer you if you call to him. He knows what you need more than you know what you need. And he's encouraging Jeremiah in this way, in this situation, and he wants us to be encouraged as well. He has what we need. When we can't see through, we can't see how we're going to make it financially, you know, to this time, you know, six months out from now. We can't see how we're going to get a job. We can't see how this family crisis is going to be solved or this health crisis. Call to me. I will answer you. God is there for us. He was there for Jeremiah in this crazy time, and he's going to be there for you and I. If we just submit to him, he's challenging you and he's challenging me. Let's, let's be like this. And also, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, am I willing to hope? Am I willing to be surprised? Am I willing to be surprised in a beautiful way? Help me to be that way, Lord. Help me to be willing to be surprised and blessed. Sometimes it's we make it harder for you to bless us. We're just slow motion and and, and full of depression, and we can't see through. Help us to see through. Show us things that don't even seem imaginable to us. Help us to go through to victory, Lord. Bless each one in the hearing of my voice. Help me in the same way. Be with all of us, Lord, and help us to serve you in these crazy hours. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for call, challenging us to call on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, God can still surprise us. The question is, will we call on him? May God be with you today in all that you do.